Back in 2014, Centronic, the Swedish design house, landed in Kanata. The hope was that over about five years, it would hire around 120 people. Today, it stands at nearly 300. We are going to find out what is behind Centronic's rapid growth in Kanata and some of the challenges that come with that today on Techopia Live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Techopia Live. I am your host, Craig Lord, the editor here at Techopia. This week, we are at Centronic Canada, the offices here in Canada, for the company's five-year anniversary party. Uh, there are many people around us, Centronic employees, uh, ambassadors, uh, executives from across Ottawa and the Canada Tech Park here at the offices. Uh, we are going to be talking to Hans Mullen. You are the president of Centronic, the, the wider company, and Daryl Wellington, the senior vice Vice President here at Centronic Canada. Uh, as I mentioned off the top, Centronic has grown uh, beyond its initial expectations. Five years ago though, uh, Hans, you were, you were shopping around uh, at where you would land Centronic here in Canada. What attracted you to Canada? What did you see here and said, yes, this is the place where we're going to grow for the future in, in Canada? Yeah, so uh, like you said, we're shopping around. We're actually shopping around in uh, all over North America and uh, ended up in, in Canada because of our customers. So we were traveling around, telling our customers about the strategy, about having permanent presence in North America to support Europe and our Asian teams. And Canada was coming to Canada. You look at Canada, we have 90% of all R&D within telecommunication is done here. Uh, we would have, I mean, today we have the majority of our customers within 15 minutes. Uh, we were looking for talents. So we were key universities, prominent universities, super important, uh, both to find experienced talents, but also to be able to grow the next generation of talents. Uh, and as I mentioned, you know, the, the hope was that, you know, maybe in five years or so at this time, you were thinking, okay, we'll have maybe 120 employees or so. We are approaching 300 here, though, at Centronic. What is behind the uh, faster than expected growth uh, in, in the area? Yeah, the interesting part is everybody says that we've been growing for five years, which is not true. We did not grow the first two years. I think the first two years we did all the groundwork. We'd, explain to people, both employees, potential employees, our customers, how we're different. Uh, how we can help them with global capacity. We can help our global customers. They are local here, but they're global with operations in Europe and Asia. Uh, we can help them from not only an R&D perspective. So here in Canada, we're mainly doing advanced product development, test development. But if you look at the whole entire Centronic group, we can offer our customers manufacturing services, rapid prototyping, aftermarket services. Uh, and I think those pieces have been instrumental. And then that we found a great talent pool. And also that within Centronic, we don't, there's no competition between R&D sites. So we're transferring a lot of knowledge between the various sites. So we had some of the projects that we took uh, over to, to the US or, or to, to North America. And we did have a lot of projects here before, but we didn't have a permanent presence. And now we have a reach to a customer's base that we've had kind of a, we had the Atlantic in between us. Now we're sitting on their doorstep. They can meet and greet with us every day. And I think that personal touch to it, the personal relationships. There's a lot of pieces. Now, there's not one single answer to that one. Uh, 
Uh, and it's interesting you mentioned the partners you have here in the Kanata Tech Park. Uh, BlackBerry QNX is literally parked out front. They've got their Jeep here today and are, are in, in house today showing off some of those collaborations you've been working on uh, here. Uh, Daryl, I want to bring you into the conversation though. Uh, you were actually Centronic Canada's first employee, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and you've seen the growth over those five years uh, and have had to move offices a few times actually. Uh, but the whole time you've been under the KRP properties banner, I want to ask a question on behalf half of our sponsor KRP. Uh, what has it been like uh, growing over the past few years, finding different office spaces to accommodate that growth and, and how has KRP helped you do that? Yeah, good question. Um, KRP has been really good for us. Uh, so yeah, as you mentioned, we've actually, in our, in our five years, we've had five expansions. Um, KRP has been helpful every time. They've been the best solution for us. Um, really flexible as far as uh, finding, helping us find, so um, figuring out the solution for our needs, which is office space, like we do generally an open concept space, um, as well as lab space as well. It's quite important for us. So really, yeah, flexible, helpful, um, good, been a good uh, landlord as well. Uh, and it seems like you're not having a lot of trouble hiring. Obviously, you've been uh, growing at this rate. And, and Hans, you talked about uh, the, the talent pool you found here. Um, but if, I mean, you're still growing now. What kinds of work can people expect to be doing if they're stepping into a role now at Centronic, Daryl? Oh, what kinds of projects, uh, what kinds of skill sets are you looking for? Uh, the kind of work that's going on as you grow. Yeah, it's a real, uh, I think the thing that, that people could expect or or could look forward to working at Centronic is variety. So it's the variety for me. My favorite part is the the people, um, our employees, but also wor working with our colleagues as well as working with our customers. Um, there's such a passion for their products and their technology. It's so um, fantastic to see. So for us, we see variety where we're doing telecom products we're doing automotive transportation we're doing all sorts of industries um, med tech um, um, industrial and defense products as well so we're not a product company we work on many products and um, yeah variety and good people yeah, I've gotten a sense just uh, talking to a couple of the employees here, uh, hearing people's conversations. It doesn't seem like there's a dull day at work here at Centronic. So uh, uh, an exciting company that's growing and uh, working on a variety of fields and applications. So um, no matter where you guys are, no matter how big your offices are, uh, it seems like an interesting place to be. So uh, it, thank you both uh, for taking a few moments here to tell us about the work that's going on at Centronic and, and why Canada and, and why you're locating and doing this work here. It was great to have both of you on. Thanks very much, Hans. Thanks, Daryl. Uh, before I let you go, though, I want to take a quick moment to thank some of our sponsors, without whom Techopia Live would not be possible. I want to start with Number Crunch, offering virtual CFO services to SaaS firms. There's Pearlie Robertson, Hill McDougall, a leader in business and tech law. There's TD Bank, offering specialized services for tech firms. There's the University of Ottawa Faculty of Engineering, creating the next generation of technical talent. There's Stratford Managers, offering services to help you scale up your tech venture. And of course, we heard about KRP Properties today, offering so much more than just space. Now, Techopia Live is not just this fantastic show. You can also find us on obj.ca slash techopia with daily articles covering Ottawa's tech scene. You can also find us on social, at, on Facebook, and Twitter at Techopia OTT. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please leave us a like and a comment and subscribe to see our weekly tech videos. Apart from that, I just want to thank you very much for joining us for another episode at Techopia Live. We will see you next week for the next episode. Hope to see you then. Bye.